Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest exploded onto the video game scene in 1991. Since then, his franchise has expanded into cartoons, comics, merchandise, and soon, you might even see him on the big screen. Folks, you know him, you love him, give it up for Sonic the Hedgehog! Gotta go fast. You're too slow, come on, speed it up way past cool, it's no good. So you got a movie coming up, uh, which everybody already hates. Probably on account of how bad it's gonna be. Run real fast, chilly dog. Why don't you tell us about yourself? Sonic's my name, speed's my game, I eat the chilly dog. I'm kind of wondering, what's, uh, what's going on in this whole area right here? What's this all about? What, did you forget to shave? <laughs> I'm in unimaginable pain. Producer Tim Miller said, He's not going to feel like a Pixar character would, because I don't think that's the right aesthetic to make it feel like part of our world. Well, I'd say if you guys were trying to make something that looks like it fits in with our world, then you nailed it, because this fits in with our world perfectly. If I was walking down the street and I saw this, I wouldn't bat an eye. Looks normal to me. I mean, I might not even notice. I'd be like, what? There was a hedgehog with big hairy man legs back there? Totally missed him. Please touch me. It's been so long since I've felt the touch of another person. I mean, under normal circumstances, I'd say that this looks like a gross bastardization of God's law. It looks like something that was made in a lab by Germans. It looks like fucking Frankenstein's beast. The ultimate culmination of man's hubris given unholy flesh. But hey, what do I know? Please, please touch my penis. I can pay you anything. Now, I noticed instead of wearing gloves, you just painted your hands white. I thought that wasn't a bad idea, so I painted sleeves on this morning so I wouldn't have to wear a real suit. Please, jerk off on me. Come on my chest. Please, please, please. What are you doing? Just doing my show, like I always do. What, I can't have a special guest? I can have a guest if I want. Yeah, but I think it's a little inappropriate to have Sonic on right after his accident. What are you talking about? He's fine. Sonic, do a spin dash for us. Whoa, slow down there, Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy Gonzalez was a popular ethnic fast running cartoon mouse. Yeah, I know who Speedy Gonzalez is. Please daddy, give me your cummies. Did you think you were gonna hear that when you woke up this morning? No, but I didn't look at my calendar. One cummy, two cummy, three cummy, four. I'm daddy's princess, but I'm also a whore. Do you think you might be self-destructing a little bit here? Well, if continuing my show without Burnbot is self-destructing, then I guess Brain Dump is donezo. And if nobody cares, then I guess I shouldn't care either. And the best part is I can even be passive aggressive about it like a big spoiled brat. I know that you don't believe that Burnbot can think, but hypothetically, if she can think, then maybe she has feelings. And if she has feelings, then what does that mean about the way that you treat her? You're always saying, my lovely assistant and good personal friend Burnbot, but you don't treat her like one. Sorry, goofball, I can't hear you over the sound of my weird penis. I think you know Burnbot can think, but you don't want to admit it because then you'll feel guilty for not being nicer to her. Eh, grumble, mumble, grumble. Fumble, humble, stumble, rumble, jumble. And, while we're on the subject, you're, uh, you're not always very nice to me either. And? I don't know. You could be nicer to me. <laughs> well, of course I'm not nice to you, goofball. I hate you. How have you not picked up on that by now? I say it all the time. I said it five times this morning during breakfast. Well, maybe if you weren't busy hating me all the time, I could be your squishy little ghost buddy. Will you stop touching me, goofball? Jeez, you're always touching me. I hate it. So you're just gonna roll over and give up? You haven't even looked for Burnbot. If she doesn't want to come back, I can't force her. That's life, goofball. Sometimes you lose people. Sometimes you lose people you care about. And you never see him again. And the worst part is, you never even get a chance to apologize to him for letting him down. Ow, 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 ow. 
Aw, I love you too, buddy. Well, lying on the couch isn't gonna solve any of your problems. I'm pretty sure most of my problems are caused by the fact that I have a ghost in my apartment. Your apartment? Your apartment? This is my apartment! I was here first! I was here before you were born! You know what? Forget it. I wash my hands of this whole damn thing. I don't gotta clean up this mess. Goofballs got goofball shit to worry about. Yeah, go worry about your goofball shit. What are you doing? You goofing off? You goofing around? Ooh, sounds real important. Well, I don't need you either. Goofball? <sighs> goofball, put the paper up. I am still here. Somebody please give me a ride home. Goofball, take Sonic home. Where does he live? I don't know. Planet Mobius? You know, if Brain Dump's not working out, you could always start a Let's Play channel. <laughs> yeah, right. If I ever make a Let's Play, please kill me. <laughs>